Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV. I am Mark Wallace and this is Emily. She is our model from London and you might recognize that we are in Gavin Hoey's studio. Now what we want to do is I want to create some really amazing portraits of Emily that are interesting. And so in a small space we don't have a lot of room to really do crazy lighting setups like I like to do. And so we're going to do something else. We're going to create texture instead. To do that, I'm using this. This is a metal window screen. It's a silver metal window screen. And so we've scrunched this all up to create some really interesting textures. And so this will give us some motion and some texture and some highlights and shadows and all kinds of interesting things if we do the lighting setup correct. So Emily, we're gonna have you come right back here and I wanna show you how I have this set up. So I have a small soft box. So, uh, normally, the larger the softbox, the better the results, as long as you have a grid. So I've put a grid on the front of this. I've done this with a 4x6 softbox and medium and large softboxes. So with a small softbox like this, really, we're going to be confined to just doing portraits. So if you want to do maybe an outfit with, with this, doing a dress or whatever, you need a larger softbox than this. But we're going to work with what we have. What we want to do is to make sure that the light doesn't bounce all over in this space. And so what I've done here is we've put up this black background. So this is a fold out background that we've used that's going to absorb light. And then we have some black curtains on this side to make sure that the light doesn't bounce to this side. That's going to be really critical and key. The other thing we want to do is to make sure that this light is almost a 90 degree to Emily. And so what that's going to do is to make sure that we cast light across this really interesting texture and it's going to catch all of that and reflect that into the camera. If we have it too, uh, too much on axis with the camera, well, it's just going to go right through this. We're not going to get that really interesting look. So we want this over almost at a 90 degree, not quite. The larger the softbox, the more that you can put that at a 90 degree because the light is going to wrap around the model. But with a small softbox, you need to put that a little bit in front of your model so that light will um, catch your face and her eyes and all that kind of stuff. In your studio, if you're doing this, obviously you're not going to have a bunch of video lights because you're not going to be making a video of you shooting this because the best way to see what's happening is to use the modeling light on your flash. And so to give you an understanding of what this looks like and how you can sort of preview this, I'm going to turn off the lights that we're using to shoot the video and zoom in on Emily so you can sort of get a, an understanding of why you need a good modeling light to really see what's going on when you're shooting a screen like this. So I'm going to turn off these lights that we're using for video. And then what we'll do is we're just going to zoom in here to Emily. And Emily, if you just put that over your face, and then now you can see that that modeling light really helps us understand what the camera is going to see. What we're going to do now is we're going to have you take this, sort of wrap it around your head and do some wacky things with it, and we're going to start shooting, and uh, let's do that right now. Well, those first shots look pretty darn good. I really like where we're going with that. But uh, what I want to do is I, I really want to get a really tight, close profile shot of Emily. And so what we did is we had her change into a different top so that we have some shoulders that are bare because we're going to have her looking into the light. I'll get really close and then we're going to put this in front of her and play with it and see how that works. Now, the thing is, uh, with this kind of a shot, um, we really want to see your eyes. And the way to see through this is to make sure that the screen is perpendicular to the, the light. And so it has to be flat this way to the camera. And so the light doesn't reflect from that. So any kind of thing that is toward the light like this is going to reflect light. So you have to make sure that the eyes are going through something that's flat to the camera. All right, so to make this work, what I've done is I've clipped this screen onto the softbox. And what that's doing is, before I had this clipped on, it was falling in front of Emily, and so we had sort of this uh, black space 
that I'd have to Photoshop some texture or something in. So instead of doing all that in post-production, we just clip this onto the softbox and that adds something in the scene here. And then I'm gonna do a really tight uh, close shot on Emily and we're gonna have her in profile, which is great because she's 90 degrees to this light. That's gonna just wrap around her face and create a really beautiful portrait. So we're gonna shoot that right now. Well, one of the things I'm doing as we're shooting is to make sure to put the photos on the computer so that we can take a look, first of all, to make sure they're technically correct, so the lighting and everything is what I want, but also to show Emily what we're doing because when she's behind that screen, it's sort of hard to imagine what it looks like because with all the lights on, it doesn't look anything like it does when it comes out of the camera. So once she sees that, it allows her to start uh, understanding how to pose and move to the light and do all kinds of things to make the images look spectacular. So if you're doing something like this, make sure you show the model what's happening because it'll give them confidence, it'll make your job easier, and you'll get better photos. Well, Emily, that was a really fun shoot. We got some great results using just a window screen, the right kind of light, and of course, a spectacular model. Hey, thanks for joining us for this episode. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV. That way you don't miss a single thing. And also, check out the Adorama Learning Center for more tips and tricks for your photography in a small studio, big studio, whatever. You can find it right there. Thanks again for joining us, and I will see you again next time.